Hey, it's Kara with Money Loves Me, and I am here asking for advice. Today I did something a little different, very different with my makeup. I used all liquid, and I completely avoided powder because I have been seeing these wrinkles under my eyes that just get caked up. I use Jane Iredale makeup, <clears throat> and mostly Jane Iredale um, brushes, too, and so it's good stuff. And I decided to do my eyes with what's actually a palette for contouring. <laughs> and I can tell, like, if I switch up the light, like, here's some more light. And then look. Depending on the light, my makeup definitely looks different. I might do a little more blending after this video. Um, it like, uh, it looks a lot different on the video than it does in real life, but I'm sure everybody figures that stuff out. So the advice that I'm asking is why don't people do this more often? Does it get caked up by the end of the day? For me, I mean, I can give an update in the comments. Um, this is the first time I've tried it. I really like it so far. How does it wear? What's the best makeup routine and what... Um, for somebody my age, which is starting to get more wrinkles under the eyes, um, I'm 36, and so it's that transition of accepting wrinkles, and um, anyways, that's my, my process, and so I want to ask advice on that, and then also, um, what is the best way to set makeup uh, without using powder? Today, I'm not using powder, but when I touch my face or like rub it, it more easily comes off, of course. So I want something where I can set it, but I don't use powder because as soon as I add even a little bit of powder, it, it makes me look more dry. I have sensitive skin that it edges on dry most of the year, especially in the winter like it is right now. I would love to hear from my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please do. That way, um, if you give me any advice, then you'll see my comments and we can have a little conversation. It'd be so helpful. Thanks.